Hello and welcome to the screencast for Untamed.net. Today we're going to be going over how to integrate a working Lightbox gallery powered by a Twitter bootstrap set of thumbnails. So the first thing we need to do is set up the code for the thumbnails themselves. So let's take a look at that. I'll move my window over here. Alright, and only thing you need to do this is to make sure you have a container. I've already set up some predefined styles which you can take a look at whenever you download the source but I've set up a container with a class of gallery and let's go ahead and set up our thumbnails so we'll start with a UL the class of thumbnails and let's end that with a comment just in case we ever need to go back, we know exactly where it ends. That always helps. All right, so, and we just need to place in our line items. So I'm gonna paste this in, then I'll go over some of the code. So we have a line item with a class of span three. So there's gonna be four within a row. So span three, it could be anything you'd like, but um, I find that four in a row um, works pretty well, especially whenever it comes down to responsive images. It keeps them nice and large, just right down to the very last minute. Um, so with a class of thumbnail that's important with a rel of lightbox and then group so this is going to be a group of ours that um, a, a group of images that we want connected to each other within the gallery that you don't have to exit lightbox to navigate between um, a high ref to images and then so this is our kind of image path and then another image with a class of group one um, this doesn't matter nearly as much. I just like to have that just in case I do want to style that group specifically um, to something with um, an SRC of the same path. Um, and this could be a thumbnail in case you wanted to put a smaller image as a smaller image as a thumbnail and just link to the larger image and with the title. And so we can go ahead and copy and paste this. That's four times five six seven eight okay and all we'll need to do is change these numbers I've already set these um, pictures up in, um, in a numerical order just to make it a little bit easier for the demo but of course in this case you would be changing the picture um, path to the files that you need to get to so two three four five Nice, and then we'll go over and adjust that same thing on the actual images that will be displayed. Okay, that's all done. We'll save that. Now, we have kind of the workings of our gallery. Now let me show you where I have actually set up the Lightbox script itself um, uh, to make it a little bit um, easier to um, set up for yourselves. So here we have the end of our main.css and the main.css really doesn't um, uh, do much else than just style a few of the things that we needed to. Um, it has nothing to do with the gallery or the Lightbox um, effect itself. So let's head back over to the index, and then we have the color box. So I linked up a color box.css, which you'll find in the, in the source, um, right into our CSS folder. So it's actually right over, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, right over here with the pretty photo. So we need to unlink that from the index. It looks like that was something I had been doing before. That's no problem, though. Let's go ahead and take that out, and I'll show you where I had actually placed um, the pretty photo.css so if we'll head over to the main dot less I like to work on my style sheets within less and I actually imported this to the bottom of my less style sheet so import pretty photo.css and so that's how those styles get into the actual um, style sheet um, itself and so we'll head down to the bottom and I have set up a lightbox call function with getting my document ready and including the function and then I found everything with a rel of lightbox and we're just passing it an argument of um, pretty photo um, or actually an event handler pretty photo and then I set up my scripts linking pretty photo directly into 
my bottom JavaScript. Now, of course, this is one of those things that you could actually take Pretty Photo um, and link it directly into your plugins.js. I chose not to do that this time just because I was trying out several different light boxes to see how they worked with Bootstrap, and I just wanted to keep them abstracted away as much as possible just in case we need to um, go with another option. So I linked Pretty Photo right here in the footer of the document. And linking your JavaScript in the footer is always a good idea because it keeps your pages nice and speedy because the JavaScript does not necessarily have to load up before the rest of the HTML does. Um, and so once the HTML loads up and the CSS loads up, then your JavaScript kind of loads up in the background so it keeps things fast. So I'll take my browser and press refresh. So with all of these changes made, we can refresh and find that okay here we are and looks like we can navigate back and forward and so that works pretty well but how about responsibly so it looks like that's a smaller version so we'll load that up and that works pretty well as well but that it seems like it's about the same size but let's go to maybe a mobile phone this is where things have gotten kind of hairy in the past and we don't want them um, uh, we want a good light box to um, work with us so and that's sort of the mobile view but as you can see here on a mobile phone these photos will actually go just about the full width um, of the phone so they'll be almost as big as um, as we'll need them to be anyway so this is just a good thing to have a fallback on so you're not blinding a mobile phone viewer and stretching the um, pretty photo or the light box beyond um, the width of the actual phone itself because then they, they couldn't get out of the application left to quit Safari and um, and actually shut down um, Safari and that just gets messy and we want to be a little bit more friendly to our visitors than that. Alright, so we can take this and open it back up. Another thing I like about Pretty Photos, it does automatic um, thumbnails. and So it will take your photos and automatically thumbnail them into um, the bottom navigation so your visitors can actually have a little bit of a um, can get a step ahead of, um, of what they're looking at. All right, we'll exit out of this. All right, and that is how to set up Pretty Photo using and powered by the Twitter Bootstrap Thumbnail Gallery. Thanks for watching the screencast. Until next time.